Welcome to another Nottinghamshire walk. This is a short walk. The start point will be in the description and there's plenty of parking. We have three dogs today. The old One of the old boys has come with us. It's going to be a country walk. Lots of nice scenery. We're heading for Vickers Water. So there is a car park at Vickers Water, so you can just go to Vickers Water and walk round if you don't want a very long walk at all, if you just want a very short walk. So that's the bread and breakfast. We're turning right and then a left when we get to the next junction, which is only just up here. So it's a very nice day, warmer than I thought. I'm getting a bit warm, so I might have to take a jacket off in a bit. And the dogs are pulling me all over everywhere. They're normally off by now, but... Oops. There's lots of bikes uh, come up and down here normally. I think it should be quiet today because it's a Friday. So, we're now heading up towards the old pit tip. This is the farmer's lane, and there's a bridge at the top where the train tracks go over, well used to go over, there's no more train tracks. All the train tracks around this area that we come across, old bridges and different things, are all from the mines. I have a new device so I can have the camera on my front and hands-free for the dogs and for walking poles. So we're trying that out today. And so I just hope it works. It's very difficult when you've got walking poles to hold a camera. Especially if you've got to do a scramble and go up and down a hill. So we've got Flynn and Badger. And Freya is behind me. Come say hello Freya. And Freya today, out of the five dogs I have, the oldest two have been left with my daughter because it's a bit much for them. So this is the turning for the pit tip for Clipston. I think with the dogs we'll go through here. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, ow. Rucksack stuck. Oh. So behind me, if I turn it around, that way, over there, you can't really see much because there's too much trees, is Crown Farm Pit and in front of me would be Clipston Pit and if we'd have gone down a path which you can't see now because of the trees you used to be able to see it to my right if we'd have carried on down the path and then turned left instead of coming through the gate that's what we call the red brick road because it's made up of lots of smashed up red brick and that used to be the old railway line from Crown Farm out towards the junction for the coal trucks. So the land that we're, all, we're on and the land that Clipston Pit was built on all belonged to the Duke of Portland at one time. So he sold the land so Clipston Pit could be built, but it got put on hold because of the war. So it didn't get built till after the war was over. The Duke of Portland gave Vickers Water, which is uh, a fishing lake, to the miners for leisure. It used to be where he bred fish for his lakes up at his hall. But to our right, you can see lots of woodland. In this bit here is the golf course. And all over that way is Sherwood Pines, which is uh, a mountain bike center and a walking center. So we're slowly climbing the pit tip. Crown Farm pit tip, which would have been behind us, used to be called Mount Crowney. I'll find a photograph which I've got somewhere of it that I grew up seeing that you could see for miles and miles. 
but they decided to reclaim the coal out of it because when they first started the mine they wasn't very good at grading it and, and splitting it from the rubbish and uh, so it has got a lot of coal still left in it so they took it down which us locals were quite upset by we liked Mount Crowney that's what we used to call it Crown Farm Pit did start off with uh, a different name because it was built at the side of Crown Farm um, it uh, got called Crown Farm and the locals used to call it Crowney so it lost its original name which was named by uh, the mining company that built it We're coming up to the gate. This is called High Hazel Coppice. I don't know whether you can see that because of the sun. We have another bench to sit to look over Clipston Village. So that's Clipston Village all in the distance. Going across, and just in the distance, there is the industrial estate which was Crown Farm Pit. And I can zoom in. Oh, just a white, see that white building there? That's Veolia recycling plant, and that's where the mine buildings all used to stand on that bit. And over to this side here is where Mount Crowney used to be and now it's lower than this one. It's going to appear in the winter, be warned it can be a little bit uh, wet and muddy in places. I can kind of walk around all the puddles and everything but the dogs Especially the Flinny has to walk through every single one. Don't you, Flynn? Hey! I think you can go off, there's nobody about. You're being a good boy. We get an awful lot of bikes up this way because there's stiles to climb over. Um, well, there is a gate you can go through, but. Mostly walkers that come up this way. The cyclists normally stick to the bottom flat path. <sighs> Somebody set fire to this not that long ago. That's why there's a piece missing out of it. It shows you all the pits in the Nottinghamshire area. So from here, we have two choices. We have straight down the big hill to where the visitor centre is. Look at the butterfly board that shows you all the butterflies that are around here. Quite a nice bit of uh, information. Or we can go this way, which takes you to the top end of the ponds. And then we can walk back round to the visitor centre. This is uh, Portland Meadows and normally there's sheep in there. I can see the buckets. So I'll walk this way. All the berries again on the bushes. I think we might be in for a cold winter because there's lots of berries on the bushes. That's the old uh, wife's tale, isn't it? All the bushes covered in berries and we're going to have a hard winter. So we've come up to a bit of a steep hill, downwards, not upwards, another bench. See, this is a lovely uh, park for coming and sitting 
and just watching the world go by and enjoying nature. So I've run down this with the running club. I've cycled down this and I've walked down this. And it is quite steep, be warned. It's not so bad in the winter. The stones seem to stick together in the soil in the winter a bit more. In the summer, when everything dries out, all these stones seem to move underfoot. Path's been worn away again. See, there's, if you look in... It's hard to see from here, but if you look into the ground, you see lots of broken bricks. And I think it was all the pit buildings that they took down. They've used the brick to make the paths, smashed it all up. Another beautiful bush full of berries. Flinny, you've got a twig in your tail. Come on. Come on, come on, Flint, Flint. The odd boy. You've got some beautiful views. When the weather's nice. Taking advantage of another nice day. So we've come out onto the path at the bottom. More benches, there's lots of benches all the way around this pond. We're going to be turning left in a minute and walking around the side of the pond. But if you go straight on, you can get onto cycle route six. Well, you're already on cycle route six, really, but going out of Vickers Water. Because cycle route six comes into Vickers Water and round the side of the ponds and out through the bridges, well, under the bridges and down towards Dog and Duck. I used to fish here when I was a teenager many many moons ago. As I was saying, National Cycle Route 6 and it goes, if you can just see in the distance, there's a bridge tunnel there. Got the signs for different directions to cycle route six and we're cutting through this little bit over here between these two trees and we're going to look at the golden hand and see what damage the idiots have done to it lately it's always being repaired So we've got a car park, but since COVID, this car park seems to be only open to the fishermen. You have to park in the top car park now. Perhaps it was getting a bit too busy down here. I don't know. Don't know what the thoughts on that was. steps down. Oh, might have known you'd be in badge. Flares off chasing squirrels over there, I saw it. You having a paddle, Flynn? No. Right, let's see. Yes, we can get across here without getting his feet wet. That's if somebody moves out my way. There we are, no problem. Well, that's a nice tree over there, look. Beautiful autumn tree, beautiful autumn scene. The light on them leaves is beautiful.
So you can go across that bridge and walk all the way around the lake. That would bring you back to where we came off the tip. But we're walking up to the visitor centre. And there's a calf up there, we might stop and have a cup of tea. So I've just been talking to a fisherman. It must be about the same age as me. And we were talking about coming down here fishing when we were kids and about the big tunnel that you had to come through, uh, which was like a pipe, a bit bigger than a pipe, but a huge pipe that went through the ground um, because the trucks went over the top to take um, the spoil to the tip. And it's just up here. I'll show you what's, it's just bankings now. They're like cut all the soil away above the pipe and has made a proper path through. But when we were kids, we used to have to come through this long pipish type tunnel. It was only just enough room for a car to get through. So if you met a car coming down here, you don't want many because in them days, there weren't an awful lot of cars. Because I'm showing my age now. So yes, I've had a nice talk with the fisherman and reminisced about the old times. And now we're just heading for the calf. Definitely need a cup of tea, I think. It's not a long walk. So it's not as though we've done a lot of mileage, we've done a lot of messing about. So this is where the bridge used to be. So they've cut all the banking away. For getting on your horse. That must be old. Steps take us up to the back end of the calf. And when we come back out, we'll come out the car park side. So you can see. So we just come out the car park. Have a, there used to be lots and lots of ducks, but I don't know whether the bird flu has affected them, but nowhere near as many birds around here as there used to be. I am quite enjoying this new camera mount that goes around the neck. It doesn't seem to get in the way, it doesn't seem to move. And uh, it's... Uh, an Osmo one to go with the Osmo cameras so I'm quite liking it so we just go through this little squeeze at the side of this fence and then when we're back onto the path up to the bed and breakfast not far from where we started where the car is parked and it's a bridal way so oops tripping over we have to be aware of oh, horses and bikes is uh, normally a little sheepy farm thing here and you have uh, baby lambs in the spring all in these fields there's nobody seems to be here today though and we're coming up to the bed and breakfast now just over this bit of a bump in the path my mum's got a mobility scooter stuck on that no end of times. So you can see this white building above the hedge. That is the bed and breakfast. So we're not far off the car. Yeah, just over three miles. So about three and a half miles by the time we get back to the car. So we're back to the junction, there's the B&B, just up here is where we parked the car, where we started from, start point. I hope you've enjoyed this walk and as normal the map for this walk is in the description. If you've got any questions please put a comment below. I hope you've liked this walk. Thanks for watching. 
See you next time.